semblance is an environment where the audience can create a light structure which they can manipulate, they can interact with it as if they are physical and uh, they can participate with other audiences to create this environment and hopefully they can coexist. really start from a single idea, it came out of a process, you know, all of our work is built iteratively and it's, it, it's, it kind of comes from itches that we want to scratch and one of them was wanting to kind of question the distinction between physical and virtual, which is getting quite a blurry distinction these days. And the other one was um, wanting to explore how people would work together to create things and what happens when they have to kind of trust each other to be delicate with the things that they've created. In the past, we play a lot with laser as, as a medium, and we we were fascinated by the fact that we can create a structure in space out of nothing. You can come in here with me, right? Yeah. You 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 almost see more of the reflection than you do of the, and it, and it's almost like prison bars. More than the wall, you see the reflection. With this one, right? Yeah, just if, specifically with if this you're one. Facing yeah, if you're facing the right direction, of course. Yeah, it's usually when yeah. stuff doesn't work that you mm. really start to learn something, you know, about the limitations yeah. of a particular piece of hardware or a particular <coughs> technology. You know, sometimes we've even discovered colors just because a cable failed. So when you are building these structures out of light, they're quite fragile. You know, if you're too aggressive with them, if you move too quickly, you can shatter the, both the illusion and the actual kind of physical wall that you might have created. Uh, with your gestures, but if you do something with somebody else, there's certain sort of things you might do, for example holding hands with somebody else, you'll create a shape or a structure that's more resilient and you'll actually be able to almost walk through it without destroying it. So what's playing out here is you, and what we've seen people do is, you know, they start off sometimes just working on their own, making cones around themselves or sort of tents. Then they start to build walls, they sort of gesture in space and they create sort of shapes. And then they suddenly realize that these different shapes that they're creating interact with each other, they kind of bump into each other. And so when somebody else walks past your wall, they kind of brush it and it starts to ripple and they might sort of walk right through it and then they shatter it. Um, and so over time, people are starting to build up much more sophisticated shapes. The things that take place in the environment that only one person in the entire three months might, might experience. We have these sort of Easter eggs throughout the project where under exactly the right conditions, which might be the time of day and a particular movement, certain things will occur that maybe nobody else has seen. I hope that there's a kind of sense of, of suspending disbelief and a sense of kind of wonderment. Um, Again, wanting to question that distinction between physical and virtual. What's been kind of really interesting to us is to see how people start to treat these light structures as if they were materially and physically in front of them, you know, almost stepping over them and sort of walking around them, um, which is, which is a, a kind of vindication of this idea that the perceptual mechanisms we have, you know, whether the thing out there is physical or virtual kind of is, becomes irrelevant. I think I want them to care about other people's stuff. Just a step uh, further than, okay, believing that this is real. And by, by that I mean like, okay, they believe that other people's stuff is real as well. And if they break other people's stuff, that means something to other people. And next step is probably like collaboration. That two people would want to create a room inside space together, that kind of thing.